Questions for Max? Anything stand out to you from those two ends? Uh, no, good, just to be able to get, you know, get back out there and compete against somebody not wearing a Mets jersey and, you know, be in a game situation. Uh, you know, like I said, I've been throwing since December and January, so, uh, you know, it's a long time before you finally get to actually get in the game and, uh, you know, get ready for a season. So uh, it's definitely fun to get back out there. How about working with the, the new rules for the first time in a, kind of a game setting? What, was there any adjustment or it seems like this is something you've been kind of waiting for? Yeah, I mean, we've known this has been coming for a while, so kind of knew what this was going to look like and knew, you know, seeing how, how this is going to be implemented and the, the, really the power that the pitcher has now. I mean, I can completely dictate pace. And, I mean, the rule change of the hitter only having one time out is a, <laughs> changes the complete dynamic of the, you know, of the hitter and pitcher. Uh, you know, dynamic. So, um, yeah, I love it. You think uh, Chavis has stepped out and covered call time? I, did you, and you held the ball for maybe two or three seconds. Is that what you're talking about? Like being able to, once you guys. Well, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can kind of work quick. I can work, actually, I can work extremely quick or I can work extremely slow. So I can, there's another layer here to be able to mess with the hitter's timing. Were you trying to do that at all today, just for your own purposes, just to no. get a feel of when you could throw and when you wanted to? Yep. Yeah, and I, I can I can come set uh, before the hitter's really even in a box. Um, you know the rule. You know I can't pitch until eight. You know, but as soon as his eyes are up, I can go. So, you know, had that conversation with the umpire to make sure that 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 that's legal and that is. So, like you know, like just getting used to how this is going to be in twenty twenty three. Was that what we were talking about after the second inning? Yeah. The umpire, that right. Conversation. Right. That I'm um, legally I because I already had the pitch call. We already know it. I can come set now. I can't fire until. You know he, you know brings it. You know until his eyes are up, up on me, but if his eyes are up on me at with twelve seconds left, I can fire. So uh, just another layer I can use. Does this dynamic make this spring training a little more interesting than normal spring training? That you have something new to toy with and experiment with? Yeah, I mean, obvious, isn't it? I mean, the game's completely changed. <laughs> Were you using the pitcher first pitch count or like calling the pitches yourself? Yeah, uh, that's where Omar and I were, I mean, he's calling the game, but when I had an instinct of, when I knew I wanted to throw a pitch in a location, I could just call it in and work and, and work extremely fast and, and use that to my advantage. Where do you keep that? It was on the back of my glove. Okay. Is that, the first, is that the first time you've done it that way, Max? Yeah. Okay. I was talking to Wainwright yesterday, and he's looking forward to what you're just talking about here, getting the ball back. From the catcher and then pushing the button right away and going before the hitter has a chance to, to yep. set. Yep. Do you think hitters will kind of pick up on that and not <clears throat> look up as to the you can't go? This is a cat and mouse game. Yeah. There's rules and I'll, I'll operate within whatever the rules are. Max, do you work on anything? Did you work on anything differently in the winter to kind of prepare yourself for that kind of tempo? No. I mean, I mean, obviously, I, I, my, I do my off-season training to be able to put myself in the best position possible uh, and be physically fit. So, um, like I said, I, I want to work quick. Um, it's always been the hitter that can slow me down. So now the hitter doesn't have that ability anymore. If you've already thrown over a pickoff throw once, say the first, is it a harder calculation to figure out if you're going to throw a second time? Because then you're out of. Do you think is that harder now? Thinking about what you're going to throw over. I mean, I know you had only one or two chances today. But. Yeah, but. Um, the, holding the ball is one of the most effective ways to stop a running game. I mean, Roger Davis taught me that. <laughs> Playing with him, uh, you want to stop a base stealer, just hold the ball. What, what do you, uh, as far as trying to keep your oblique healthy, are you doing anything different this year? No, I mean, trying to, you know, pay attention to my whole body and what I need to do to keep it healthy, uh, and just working with the trainers to figure out. Uh, all the exercises I need to do to bring into my program and make sure that every part of my left side is strong and it stays strong. What did you kind of take away from that second inning? Obviously, three straight hits, but then you buckled down, Hep came out, and obviously, I'm sure you wanted to stay in the game. Um, what did you kind of take away from that inning? No, good. If you if you want to work through traffic in spring training, you need, you need those type of innings uh, because th that's what happens in the regular season. I'm not going to be perfect out there. Um, 
And so it's actually good to, you know, have to pitch you traffic, you know, <clears throat> work with Omar now of, you know, using the pitch com, what we want to do, um, and, and how the pitch was going to play today uh, and be in that situation and use it and go through all the different situations of what could be good and bad. So, um, yeah, so got to basically work on everything I needed to work on, I mean, as much as I could in two innings. Do you think you'll continue to use the pitch com on, on your end on the back of the glove? I don't see why not. How quickly does it take for you to adjust to a new catcher to the extent that it's something you don't even think about anymore like you guys are fully on the same page? Well, the way I always say this is that we gotta find when the time when uh, the catcher's right and I'm wrong, and then there's a time when I'm right and the catcher's wrong, and then after you get through that, then you kind of get on the same page. So it's not usually till June. <laughs> <laughs> and who does it take longer to be wrong in that couple of months? No, oh, you never know. I mean, it's very easy for me to be wrong and catch it right. Those, you know, I, I welcome that. It makes for some great conversations. Uh, you know, when the catcher is right, uh, they let you know. But just like the other way, uh, then once I'm right and the catcher's wrong, that's when you finally get on the same page of looking through the hitters and understanding, you know, kind of weighing the risk of each pitch. All right. Thanks, Max.